All right, welcome back. It is the Vegas Tape. I don't know where Sharpie is, my co-host, but uh, luckily Ron Futrell, as always, is here to save the day from Channel 8. Ron, appreciate you being here. We have a few people that have been waiting patiently on hold. We're talking about Donald Trump, John McCain, you know, them getting into it again. The late John McCain and Donald Trump just can't leave it alone. I mean, we'll get to some more uh, topics of the day. Justin Hawkins, uh, former run and rebel will be joining us in hour number two. That'll be coming up in a little bit. Talk a little UNLV hoops. What is the situation there as far as UNLV? And I want to get Ron's take on all that, too. Let's go to Ed. Ed, thanks for calling into the Vegas Take and waiting patiently on hold. How are you? I'm good, pretty good for an old buzzard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you waiting on hold, Ed. What, what, what can we do for you? What's on your mind? All right. Well, I'm an old-timer. I'm a Korean Laos veteran. And I Thank you for your aviator. service. I was an aviator. Thank mm-hmm. you. And uh, I'm I'm pretty well uh, tuned in on what Trump is saying about uh, uh, the military career mm-hmm. of our, uh, McCain. Mm-hmm. And there's several things that should be mentioned, and you should know this so you don't make mistakes and you keep the record straight. Now, there was a gentleman on... McCain did create a fire on deck, and it killed 136 guys. And the other thing is, you know, he crashed three Navy airplanes as a pilot. Not not really too good of a pilot, but I have a very good friend who had 257 sorties over North Vietnam, in an A-7, a pilot, dropping napalm. And I asked my good friend, I said, what the hell did John do wrong uh, that he got himself shot down? Because, you know, they use shape. Mm-hmm. They let shape go on these airplanes when they yeah, make No, I understand. Ed, let me ask you a question real quick, okay, because I respect your opinion. Let's just say everything you said is true. Let's just say he it killed is, over... A, okay, so let's I mean, just... it was an accident. Okay, but so let's it. just say... It was an accident. He killed over 100 people, which is which is a horrible thing. Obviously, he didn't do it on purpose. And he, he crashed some planes, so he wasn't a good pilot. So I'm, let's just say, for, for argument's sake, everything you just told me was 100% true. Do you still think it's okay for the president of the United States to go after John McCain because he was captured as a POW and then even after his death to be talking about his grades? Do you think that's appropriate for the president of the United States to do that? No, it's not. But I I do know one of the things that our president don't like about Mr. McCain, and neither do I. His wife got in a terrible car crash. Yes. She She was, I mean, she couldn't walk. She was wiped out. And he turns and he philandered a lot. It's all part of a record. And he met this millionaire, Chippy. And he threw Cindy under the truck tires. And that and might be just, true. And that might be true, Ed. Uh, but, but again, it, but we agree on what this conversation started on. It's that it's beneath the president of the United States to go after, you know, uh, a, a war hero, regardless of mistakes, accidents, regardless of womanizing, or whatever else he might or might not have done, Ed. And, and, and that's and I thank you for your service, by the way, Ed. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate your perspective. I'll, thank I'll, you. I'll say this with that here. I, I would rather have a president that, that supports the military with a budget that is concerned about the troops and, by the way, is bringing them home in record numbers from wars overseas. Mm-hmm. And, and well, it's crazy. That How many trips, by the way, has he made it's overseas? Crazy. Oh, it's, you're more concerned. Uh, about, he's made one, uh-huh. but you're more concerned about the trips he makes overseas and what he says why than the support that. he gives the military Here's and bringing them home for more. Here's why I'll take that. the latter any day Here's why than what you worried because about he trips. Criticized, because he criticized said. the last two presidents for not making okay, enough attention. trips when they made 20 times more trips than he's made. He's made one trip. If you care about the, uh, I know I musicians would, that make more trips. Than I the would president. rather have That's a president that supports the military with funding and takes care of the military. How about transgenders and, in the military? Does he support them? Apparently not. Apparently how many, not. How many are, yeah. how many are there? Six. Yeah. Are yeah. there twelve? Yeah. What, uh, no, how there's how thousands, thousands, thousands that serve, and, and he just, you know. I don't know how you're you can... more worried about that than overall support of the no, military. I'm worried he supports about... them all, by no, the way. Anybody that goes, in he the doesn't military. support transgenders clearly. Based on his policy, he does not. 
Clinton didn't support gays in the military. Don't well, ask, you know don't what? tell. You know what? Yeah. We got we got a moron for a vice president right now who who thinks that if you are gay, moron. you should go to conversion therapy. Yeah, you're a moron if you think that. If you're a homosexual and you're straight and you are serving this country and you think that people who are homosexuals should go to conversion therapy, you are a moron. That is, Yeah, Mike Pence is a moron. Yes, he is. Our president is a moron. His Vice, you said, well, you think they're both morons. Well, so. I, I think, no, I think for think different reasons. <laughs> I, think, I think for different reasons, okay? Mike Pence, his wife works at a school where they don't allow homosexuals to work there or go to school there. That is hateful as far as I'm concerned. That's not being a good Christian. That is being hateful. If, you hate, if you're against gay marriage, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. If you don't like the lifestyle, that's fine. Do whatever you want in your own home is, is, is the way I feel. But to, to, to go after people that are, that are homosexuals and, and, and to think that's okay to me, that's not a religion. That, that's like a, a, a disgusting cult. That's what it is. Let's go to Brian. Brian, thanks for calling into the Vegas Take. How are you? Excellent. Hey, Ron, did you bring your guitar tonight, buddy? I did. It's here. I, I threw out a couple you of... You need to serenade Brian a little bit. I know. Whenever, I mean, he, can... whenever he resorts back to transgenders in the military and Pence's yeah. wife... You know, he's losing the argument. He's getting a Listen, frustrated. Brian, listen, Brian, if you're going to give me cheap shots, you got a Tucker Carlson poster in your room. I know you do. Oh, bless him. <laughs> I, 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 I tried to play. I played a little Jackson Brown during the break to try to mellow I him know, out a little. And I know that Brian has these autographed photos of Tucker Carlson in his house. Bless you, Yeah, Brian. I know. Bless you. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. Go ahead. I'm just giving you a hard time. I know, and I, I like that. That's fun. <laughs> you know, left hook, right cross, return to you. And here we go again. Look, Brian, anyway. you, can you just admit that Tucker Carlson is a scumbag? Can you please just admit he's that? He's a good guy. He's, he's a rock star. Like can you say he's a good he's guy? A rock he's a star. Rock star. One of the few people, I don't want to get off on Tucker. I have a few things I want to tell okay, you. Go you, ahead. You go ahead. For a reason. the caller last night and hit the nail on the head. Uh-oh, what do you say? John McCain's military career was 50 years ago, Okay. Yeah, And he, he made the statement that there's people like John McCain, who's done a lot of things since then that were not very nice, like the gentleman who just spoke a few minutes ago about his wife and some of the other things. Mm -hmm. Now, the same thing about the black gentleman who was part of the you – know, with Martin Luther King Jr., Mr. Cummings, Elijah Cummings. Yeah, That was 60 years ago. Uh -huh. They're living on their laurels from 50 and 60 years ago. What do you say about a man who's dying of cancer mm -hmm. who would take the time to write his funeral and on purpose exclude the president of the United States as a way to poke his well, finger let me in respond his to that. eye? Okay, let me, and, let, yeah, let me and, respond to that. that that's and then good, have his daughter get up from the pulpit at yep. the funeral mm -hmm. and excoriate him from that. Now you compare that to what let George H.W. Bush did. Yeah. Let me respond to because what you what just John said. McCain did. Let me respond it, to what you just said. Know. Let me respond to okay. what you just said. If I served in the military and I suffered, I was a prisoner of war, and I suffered every day for the rest of my life for the torture that I had to go through, and then I had the president of the United States say, I don't res he doesn't respect me because I was captured, I would have done the exact same thing that John McCain did, and I think he has the right to do that. There is nothing worse as a human being particularly the president of the United States, to go after a prisoner of war and to say you don't respect him because he was captured. That was one of the most disgusting things you could say, uh, and that's exactly what Donald Trump did, and I support John McCain for doing exactly what he did. I wouldn't have wanted that bastard at my funeral either. Wow. And, and who, who was the vote against uh Repealing Obama. That is completely. That is no. It was, it was, it was that is completely Brian, irrelevant. Ron, that is Ron correctly said. This is a pissing match that between is, those two. That you, two none of us males. understand. Excuse me. That is, is not a pissing it, match. You know? No, it is. No, that is. With it all is. due respect, no, it's no, not, it is, Brian. It is. When you go after someone's service and you say you don't respect them because you well, was captured, that's the beyond. As pointed out to you, Mr. McCain's service was not very stellar. Well, the you know what? He spent five years in a prison camp and would not leave until everybody was out of there, was something I will always admire him for. Yes, thank you. Admire uh, him for. Yes. But that doesn't excuse all the other things he did. Well, you know what? He didn't live a—I'm sure he didn't live a perfect life, Bri, but I'm sure we could all agree well, when you're the president of the United States, you shouldn't go after someone and their service for being a POW. Let me give out the number again, 257-5396-702. Two five seven five three nine six. I think I silenced Brian there for about three or four seconds. No, we all care more about what he what Trump does in in in, 
getting federal dollars to the military to give them what they need of right now. Of course, that's take important. Care. That no, has that, nothing no, to do with what important. we're talking that's, about. That's 10 times more important, 100 times more important than what you're talking about. Look, I want a president to do— That's his to responsibility. Do, okay, well, of course, that's his responsibility. That's his constitutionally it's directed responsibility. It's also his responsibility to you know, show a little bit of gratitude towards would, uh, those who would be served nice. our country. Yeah, that'd be more than nice. How no, about show a little bit nice. of character? It's a pissing match between no, those two. No, it's not. A, it's a pi- no, no, it's bro, not. You don't what? How could you? It's not a pissing. <laughs> it's a, a pissy look, match between these two that policy, you and I don't get. Going after someone's get, service in war that you just blow it's it off like it's a pissing match. He didn't go after everybody's service. He went after what that one particular and that's person. That's all you need to know because it's personal between them. All you need to know is that he supports the military by funding them properly, <laughs> yeah, and he brings yeah. them home from that, foolish foreign yeah. con- conflicts okay, that we're fine. in. And that both the left and the right dislike right. him tell, for that right tell, now. Just tell that to <laughs> tell that to the transgender families, to to a man or woman uh, that has served honorably for twenty years that can't serve in the military because Donald Trump doesn't want them to serve. Tell it to those families, Ron. Let's go to uh, John. John, thanks for calling into the Vegas Take. How are you? Hey, back to John McCain. Yes, sir. Um, you're right. Spending an hour on this, I'm McCain. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I have Trump a bracket. Is not <laughs> uh, a perfect person, but I got to tell you something. McCain was far from perfect either. Never said he so was. You, Never said he all was. Right, but you, you're sticking up for him like he's a saint. I'm, no, no hold, hold on, on John. Mistakes, but but I got to tell you, McCain made more. John, McCain made more. John, maybe you're right, but I'm, it's not even sticking up. I'm sticking up for all people that serve in the military honorably. He didn't go after all people. Okay, he went after John McCain because he was captured. Let me tell you something. If you serve in the military and you were tortured and captured for five years, I, I would be kissing your feet and saying but, you are a hero. You know what? That's not why he went after him. He went after him for a million other reasons. John McCain didn't like him from day one. Then John why didn't McCain, he talk about that? He didn't say that. He said he didn't John respect McCain, him because he well, was captured. Know, but John McCain is the one that did deliver the dossier and put the president in all this. So then it's okay to go within. after him for his service because he because of the dossier? It's okay today well, after he— Let me he, ask you something. It's a pissy match. When John McCain every day said he wanted to repeal or replace Obamacare, yes. and Obama disrespected him in the White uh-huh. House, he said— What did he say? John, he said, I won. You lost. In other words, he told him to uh-huh. shut up. So, so that's and just as bad as going. It to so, stick it to Trump. so you have a problem with Obama saying, "I won, you lost," but you don't have a problem with the president of the United States going after John McCain and his war service and his grades. You're okay with that? No. Though. What I have a problem is that John McCain gave up a vote. Be just to stick it to the president. He That's wrote, a policy. He to repeal and replace it. He just okay. Well, you know what? He public. legally, he, so you know, he didn't care about the people he represented. You're, you're making, with all due respect, John. I appreciate the call. You're making a, a vast judgment and you're uh, an assumption on john john mccain <laughs> you have no idea if that's why he did what he did no clue you're making an assumption let's go to kelly kelly thanks for calling in how are you good well as a veteran of the united states navy that was your cue to say call me a hero and i say, was ab- uh, i was about to do that i was about to say that <laughs> look anybody anybody who calls in who who has served i don't care where you served you know you're a hero as far as i'm concerned Ah. Uh. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, I mean that. I'm not. I mean that. I don't care what your. I don't care what your political beliefs are. That's just. No, the, that's just uh, the truth. I would never insult someone who served. Never. Well, look. Th- uh, I'll, I'll let me say my piece before you explode on me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'll speak, and then you can speak, and that way, you know, we don't talk over each other. <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead. This is how I see it. You know. It, you know, despite his being a war hero and a POW, you know, I respect that, but. You know, he did, you know, there's evidence already out that he was the one who delivered the dossier. This is all, I mean, if the Mueller report ever comes out. No, that does matter, Roy. Yeah. Okay. If it does come out and it shows that there was no Russian collusion, he was involved. He actually played a part in an attempted coup on a sitting, a duly elected president of the United States. That is treason. Now, I don't care what his record was as a war hero you commit treason to me that erases everything was he charged with treason well he can't be charged he's dead back then why wasn't he charged well because they didn't know it wasn't released yet so you're assuming that he committed treason no well it's already Mm -hmm. the evidence is out they Mm -hmm. um, they probably waited till after he died who knows well, I think we're, I'm saying, I, I understand okay. what you're saying. I think we're making a, a big assumption there. And again, I'm going back to what I always say on this show about Donald Trump. The man has zero class. It is beneath the presidency. Well, hold on. You're going back to what he said. That has nothing to do with what he about said. what he said the other day. 
uh, in regards to the dossier. He went after John McCain's grades. This is a guy who wanted his grades in high school wiped away. His father made sure that nobody could see okay, Donald Trump's on. grades. You're missing, but you're missing the point here. That we're talking about you constantly uh, slam Trump for slamming a war hero. Mm -hmm. But this war hero mm -hmm. committed treason. After his service, you are assuming that he committed treason. He he didn't go well, after. No, I'm not assuming. Okay, but, once, the, once the Mueller, okay. everyone already expects the Mueller report is going to show there's no collusion. You don't know Either that you're making no. Treason. You don't know that you're making an assumption. The investigation is not over with yet, and you cannot make that statement and be certain. Okay, when it comes out and it says that there was no collusion. Okay, you're assuming if, that. Say ifs. It's just an to, if. make, to make Brian if happy, say out. if. We'll all, we'll well, all be I'll right you, next week. Okay, well, you're right. I mean, all these say people if. that have pled guilty and if have lied. Or, out, you're right. Yeah. All these people that have pled guilty and, and have lied around the president, they're all innocent. They had nothing to do with well, Russia. You're making an assumption. They all had to do with their own. You're making no, an assumption. Not. Yes, you are. Everything that you don't know that pled guilty to had nothing to do with it Russian doesn't collusion. it doesn't mean there wasn't collusion. The it judge said that it would have been leaked by now if there were. Brian. That's not true. I'm helping you. I'm helping you, Brian. First of all, uh, the national media gets many things wrong. <laughs> they would spent four years going after George Bush for leaking the name of a CIA agent, supposedly, out of the White House, Valerie Plame and Joe Wilson. They spent four years, the national media, local media, pretty good, the national media went after him for four bloody years, yeah. ripping that Bush White House for that. Yeah. And I logic told me, eh, it doesn't it doesn't add up. It doesn't. I, I don't right. trust the media. Well, hey, I look. don't trust the investigation. The investigation comes out, they find out from day one, they knew, mm -hmm. they knew it was the State Department, Richard Armitage, mm -hmm. who worked with Colin Powell, was the guy who leaked the name, and they knew it from day one, but they kept that investigation going Look, for four years. No, there is a parallel here, Brian, because uh, you learn from history. I try to learn from history. The same bloody thing is going on here where they are taking this story, and it was four years of the, of the eight-year Bush presidency that that was a story, and everybody talked about how despicable it was. Chris Matthews did right, hours well. and hours of shows on this, and I'm sitting there going, Okay, you don't know, Chris. You don't know, Rachel. You don't know, everybody. Let's go. Uh, and, and we're going to find something the opposite is true. Right. My gut told me <laughs> that it was. No, and I was right. And it might, with this one, it would have been leaked by now if there right. were well, collusion. We, we just, but we, we can wait and see. We you can, can keep yes. waiting. Oh, I absolutely uh, some of will. us can know I before. I absolutely will wait and see. I think you're, that, that's a, a, you're us, making a vast so judgment and, and assumption. Oh, let's, no. let's take some more <laughs> callers. Let's go to J.D. J.D., thanks for calling in quickly. How are you? J.D., buddy. Hey, um, Ron, Brian, I can't believe you wasted a whole hour talking about this. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, if you... now you can, now, now you got me involved. We don't know what started this. This could have all started during the campaign. McCain could have done things to. Another I'm assumption. Assuming, another done, another assumption. Uh, I'm assuming I know that. Here's that what we he don't assume, JD. Against Trump. Why can't you just? May, why that can't? May have started this. This whole pissing. Man. Why can't you just start the conversation by saying, "Look, what Trump said about John McCain in his service I was agree disgraceful." With you a hundred percent. That's all I want to hear. And then if you're going to say, "Well, maybe they they got some personal issues," okay. So I said it the, the second way. Now, what I'm mad at you is you interrupted <laughs> that old timer, the aviator, exactly when he was telling a story, and then he was going to tell as a story how John McCain got shot down for no other reason. Or, but historical reasons and military facts, I would have lo loved to hear that man talk. And I hope you allow him to call back and finish he is, the story. He is welcome. He was, the, he was the best caller of, the, of I, the month. He is welcome to call in any time, J.D., and uh, if he calls in again, I will gladly give him more time. Obviously, we have a lot of callers from, from the start to the end of the show, and I try to get to as many people as possible. And I hope he calls back, and I appreciate you calling, J.D. Thank you. Let's go to Craig. Craig, thanks for calling in. How are you? Good, good. How are you doing? Doing good, Craig. What's on your mind? I wanted to make a comment about Kellyanne Conway's husband. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm just wondering what kind of a husband um, trashes her, you know, your spouse's employer publicly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and puts your wife in the position of having to go to work and mm -hmm. work with, you know, her boss every day when, you know, it's such a public thing. I'm not talking about what mm -hmm. Trump said or what he said, right? Just where he's putting his spouse. Well, certainly it's a putting his spouse. Yeah, it's in. a it's a fair question, mm -hmm. and certainly 
he's putting Kellyanne Conway in a tough position. But do you know who I think puts Kellyanne Conway in a more difficult position? Uh, the Trump? president of the Trump? United States, because I believe she lies for him every day, Craig. I appreciate the call. Thank you for calling in. I, I love his point, though, Craig. I, I it's, mean, a it's, selfish, it's, it's a selfish spouse that does that. Well, That's I don't know. I, I think I don't know it is. No. It, uh, I Maybe he's trying to make a name for himself, but I agree with a lot of what he says. Let's <laughs> it's go. a selfish spouse. He's right. trying to make a name for himself. Same thing I said. Perhaps, we agree. Perhaps, we agree, Brian. We agree. <laughs> Larry, I only got about 45 seconds. You go. I just want to say uh, I love uh, Ron Futrell. I've been what? listening to him for, Thank for you. years. He needs to have his own show. <laughs> and then, well, Ron did have his own show for I've a while. Had, I've had a few. Yeah. Oh, where? where, where? Oh, well, At all another place. station. Other At another station, station Larry. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Yes. but I, I love him. Thank you. The other thing I want to say is that uh, that McCain and that dossier, to send somebody over there to verify that dossier is, is to me, is gutter. That's gutter rat stuff. If you're trying to talk about Trump's uh, 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 a reprobate. Who do you think McCain is to do something like that? And the second thing I want to say, because nobody talks quickly, about, quickly. about about these Democrats, and I, I'll hang up. I'm trying to figure out when are they going to investigate this self Seth Rich murder in D.C. where all the Democrats are trying to cover it up and sweep it under the rug. All right, the Larry. Police, Larry, I'm up. Uh, look into that. I, you need to have a show on that one night. All right, Seth Larry. I'm, murder Larry. That the Democrats did. All right, Larry. Look, I'm up against a hard break, man. I'll have to, we'll have to continue this conversation on the other side of the break. I appreciate the call. Uh, take a quick break. When we come back, though, we got a former running rebel. Justin Hawkins will be joining us. We'll ask him a little bit about the UNLV situation and the coaching search, and much, much more. Uh, you're listening to The Vegas Take on the all-new 101.5 FM, 720 AM, K-Don.